Hey guys, I'm Aaron and this is SketchUp Square One where we take a look at the fundamentals of using SketchUp. Today we're going to talk about the paint bucket. So we're working our way through all of the standard tools and paint bucket is kind of one of the favorites of people who are first using SketchUp. I think it's very visual. You click a button and then something changes color. It's kind of cool. But there's a lot of modifier keys with paint bucket that a lot of people don't know about when they're using it. So those are things we really want to look at. So let's hop in. All right, so I got a couple things here. I have um, just a couple little houses. So these aren't grouped or anything right now. They're just raw geometry. Um, obviously not the way I'd really want to proceed with this, but it's an opportunity for me to do some painting. So. Paint bucket tool, it is up here on the main toolbar. It's also on the large tool set. I don't have it turned on right now, but it's part of the default uh, tool set. Um, if you want to turn that on, I can go to view, tool palettes, toolbars on windows, turn on large tool set. And you'll see it's right up here clustered with the top. So it's up here by select and eraser. Um, it is a, a commonly used, like I said, beginner tool. So this functions pretty simply. Um, I do have the colors window open. I know this looks a little bit different potentially if you're on Windows and not on Mac. We will have a whole separate video that talks about this colors or this materials window. So try to ignore this. Don't, don't worry about too much. Just know that I got some color tiles that I'm going to pick from to add colors. That's really all that's important. When you pull up the uh, paint bucket tool, it will open the colors window. So whether, regardless of what operating system you're on, you'll see this pop up. And from here, you can pick a color. So I'm just going to grab red and I'm going to come over here and I'm going to click on this roof. And this is basically how paint bucket tool works, right? You click on something, it gets that color. So let's right now talk about some of the modifier keys. So that's pretty simple. No, actually, before we even do modifier keys, let's talk about select. So what does select have to do with paint bucket tool? Well, if you come in and select some items, so I'm going to click up here, I'm going to grab, drag a window down and select my entire house. So see, that's everything except for the ground. The ground's not selected. That's the whole thing selected. So if I come grab, um, let's take this green color and I color right now while the lines are, while everything's selected, everything that is highlighted is going to get that color. See that? So if you have a group you want to se select and color ahead of time, pre-selecting and then going to paint bucket tool will let you s paint all those things at the same time. So again, let's, let's switch it to yellow. I'm going to click yellow, click right here. All those selected pieces go away. So if I would deselect, come in here and um, turn off these two pieces and I, I color it again, see those ones that are turned off don't get colored this time. So I got some other options here. Um, down at the bottom, anytime you're in a tool and you're in SketchUp, keep an eye down on this toolbar down here because this will actually tell you what, how you can modify what you're doing. So the modifier keys is what they're called down at the bottom. So we have the option of holding on to command on Mac. It will be different windows. Look at the, the first one and that'll bring up that paint select toolbar. So with this, I can actually say pick red, pick yellow, pick Sumele's dress color. Oop, I got a line there. Let's zoom in a little more. Pick Sumele's dress color, select the blue in it. So I can pick through different colors just by holding down the sample material modifier key. Some other options in here. Um, I can hold down shift. So let's go ahead. I'm going to grab my blue color. I'm going to hold down shift and I'm going to click on one of these two yellow pieces. When I do, you see both yellow pieces got painted there. So let's paint them back to yellow, hold down shift. Look at the icon change to get the three little dots in the bottom. And that's just telling me that all connected colors are going to get that same, uh, I'm sorry, not all matching colors are going to get that same. So what does that mean? Let's, let's go a little bit deeper with that. I'm going to put some yellow over here on this roof also, and I want to change all my roofs to blue. If I hold down this, shift, click here, look at that. Even though they're not connected, they got the same color. So that's shift, all mat, paint, all matching. That's what that does. So there's another option here. If you hold on some combination, if I hold down shift plus option, and this option is on Mac, 
It's going to be control on Windows. But if I go grab my green and I say shift option and click here, look, my icon changes. So I have three little vertical stack squares. If I click here, it only grabs the blue that's connected to the first one I click on. So that's very important because that's a big difference from painting everything. So if I, if I was to click right here, all my white surfaces turn to green because I hold it, held down just shift. All right, and now even that is different from the next one. Option, this is gonna be control on Windows. If I grab red and I hold down this, this is going to say everything that's green connected to the surface I click on turned to red. And see that how it turned a whole bunch of stuff at the same time. It Paint Bucket is super cool. A lot of people use it like this where they grab a color they want to paint and then they just start going click, 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 click. Oh, okay, and I want to do yellow. <gasps> click, click, uh, click. Click, oh no, now I gotta get in here and paint the trim around these doors and windows. Well, if you use your modifier keys, it really speeds everything up. Because in this case, I'm gonna say, oh, well, I wanna just paint the connected, so I'm just gonna hold down my option key, click there, click there, and now that's, that's painted. Your modifier keys are huge with Paint Bucket, and a lot of people don't realize it because they're just starting out, and they don't keep an eye on those, but those little texts down at the bottom. So if you're gonna use the Paint Bucket tool, Go ahead, hop in, play around, and pay attention to your modifier keys down at the bottom. I know I already hear it. You know, you guys want to hear more about this window over here, or you're on you're on Windows and you're like, mine doesn't look like that. I get it. I'm just reiterating this. Next video, we'll talk about both Windows and Mac color windows, how to use different materials, that sort of thing as basic colors. But what I really wanted you to key in on and see this week was using that paint bucket tool with the modifier keys and how it can really make it a lot easier. Pre-selecting, using modifier keys, takes paint bucket from a fun little tool where you click in color, like in a coloring book, to a much more useful tool where you can kind of ripple through and make big changes with just a click. If you like that video, click like down below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. We create several videos each and every week and you'll be notified of all of them if you subscribe. Most importantly, more important than anything though, please leave us a comment down below. This video is actually happening because somebody asked some questions about the Paint Bucket tool and I realized we had gone through most of the basic tools but had somehow skipped Paint Bucket. So we're doing it now. We like making these videos a lot. We like it even more when they're showing something you want to see. Thank you.